if you truly believe in the word of god that says for the lord is good and his mercies endures forever i want us to truly show that gratitude to the goodness of god is never quiet can we shout a noisy joyful dominating hallelujah now that should be the least level of our rejoicing tonight as we listen to the praise reports which are the testimonies of the wonderful mercies of god we're going to take the online testimonies and thereafter we'll take the live testifiers the first one here is from brother nosa osadolo from canada in august 2024 his son suffered a seizure and his body vibrated non-stop for a while after medical examinations they were informed that he could possibly have a brain damage or epileptic and would remain on medication for the rest of his life he put the handkerchief prayed on by our father in the lord pastor Ie Adeboye, sent by his mother from nigeria on his son's head before an mri test and prayed on him the result of the test came out indicating that nothing was wrong neither was anything found in his son the doctors were confused but his son was released whole and healthy let somebody shout hallelujah sister teju daniels from united kingdom tried and failed the uk driving test four times during the festival of life program in uk daddy geo asked everyone to ask god for a birthday gift and also for christmas presents he also spoke a word of prophecy that you will never fail again she asked god for success in the driving test to the glory of god she went for the test in september 2024 and finally passed somebody shout hallelujah sister olowo shile moyosore from nigeria got married in 2019 and had been trusting god for a child she had been praying and telling god that her house was too quiet and needed the noise of children during the september 2022 holy ghost service daddy geo gave a word of knowledge that there was someone who told god that the house is too quiet and god said he will bring noise to it she claimed it and god answered the lord blessed her family with a baby in october 2023 praise the lord Sister Beatrice Adeoye from the United Kingdom had been having a terrible backache for a while with difficulty in standing up. She took the handkerchief prayed on by Daddy Gio, placed it on her back, and asked God for healing. She slept off and woke up with no pain. Now she walks around without any form of pain. Praise the Lord. Brother Adebayo John from Nigeria. During the July Holy Ghost service, Daddy Gio spoke a word of knowledge that God said before men's help arrives, God would have helped you. He claimed it and said, Amen. His wedding was a few weeks after and he needed financial help. Miraculously, someone sent funds for the wedding covering up all of the financial needs. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Sister Victoria Oladejo from Canada. At the August 2024 convention, Daddy Gio gave a word of knowledge about someone using prescription glasses. To the glory of God, since August 2024, she has stopped using those glasses and can now read without any form of help. Praise the Lord. The final online testimony 
Dickness OJ Aigbavoa from Nigeria. Her son was born autistic. He couldn't talk, he was very aggressive, and he walked on his toes and was antisocial. During the 2011 annual convention, that the GEO gave a word of knowledge that God was giving someone a new brain. She claimed it for her son. To the glory of God, her son's story changed. God removed autism from him and made him whole. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We will now take the live testifiers. My name is Bukola Beckes from RCCG, the city of David, Region 20. My testimony is based on the power in the Holy Communion. For some weeks now, I just discovered that there was a growth under my chin, very close to my vocal cord. I only discussed it with my husband. I couldn't discuss it with my team. And I noticed that anytime I'm singing, there is always a pain. Last night during the communion, Daddy Gio said, the bread we are eating, it is life. And that we should pray that anything dead in our life should go out. I placed my hands on it last night and I prayed on it. As soon as I got home, I look for it. I press it. I massage it. And to the glory of God, it is not there again. Somebody join me. To give the Lord a shout! Someone shout hallelujah! My name is Brother Solution from Proverbs 14, Grace Pavilion. I want to testify during the Holy Ghost Convention 2023. I can't see it very well. But daddy said that there, there is someone here that you can't see. All your problems are solved. During this uh, convention, that daddy said that there is someone who will dominate. And I enter one chance. But by the grace of God, I overcome the one chance because of the man said I should come down and say, No, no weapon, fight on against me shall prosper. That every tongue shall rise up, shall be condemned. After I speak that word, they say, no, this man is, is a different person. Let's release him and let him go. That's why they release me. I say, Father, I'm your son. I will not die, but I will live and declare your word. That's why they release me. That is give us boldness. He said, that that's handkerchief. So I put it on my head. After the handkerchief, after the prayer, everything. I overcome, I dominate all my power, every strange power. I dominate them. And I give the half strength to overcome all my enemy. That is why your thank God. God give me the grace. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. I am Assistant Pastor Mrs. Kende Akinterinwa from Oshun Province 13. I want to give praise to the name of the Lord, the God of our CCG, the God of Dade Adeboye, that delivered me from not realizing my dream. I immediately I finished my undergraduate studies. After youth service, I went for my master's, and that was in 2002. Ever since then, any time I tried to proceed, or to go into the academia, it will just fizzle out. Any opportunity I had, it was like a near success syndrome. But in the year 2022, during Perfect Jubilee Convention, during the Holy Ghost service, Daddy told us to lift up our phones with the flashlight. And as I did that, I was praying, Father, let's good messages that will make me fulfill my career come to this phone and on a Saturday I mean a few hours 
after the Holy Ghost service, I got a text message from the vice chancellor of the school where I now teach. I got a text message from him that I should bring the following Tuesday, I should bring my CV and my, all my credentials. It was like a dream. I went to True Color. I wanted to confirm the number. And I saw that it was the name of the vice chancellor of the school. The people that had forgotten my father. The people that had forgotten my family. Decided to remember me because God showed me mercy. The God of perfect jubilee did what no man could do. The November of that year, precisely on the 15th of November, I resumed duty in the same institution. I just concluded my second session there. The Lord has been faithful. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise God. My name is Oluwashin Otobiloba from Region 42, Oyo Province 3. I want to give my testimony to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. I was diagnosed with rectal cancer, adenoma carcinoma in the year 2022. I had my first surgery, um, April 2022. The doctor said when they got there, they met a frozen pelvis meaning the tumor has attached itself to my uterus, my bladder, and some other organs, and it was life-threatening to do the surgery. So they brought out what we call a colostomy, which is my small intestine, to the left side of my stomach. Um, by that, I'll be able to pass out stool. And they said, the time being, I should go for chemotherapy and radiotherapy. I had 21 courses of chemotherapy and 19 radiations to the pelvis, I, my first six courses of chemotherapy, after the first six courses, I had an MRI test. The MRI test said that the tumor didn't shrink or moved at all. I had the second line, which is the six courses, that's making 12. It was the same thing after an MRI. I had another 12 courses. I did another MRI. It was the same thing. I was fed up. I went to meet my surgeon at UCH Ibadan. I told him I don't want to take chemotherapy again, that I am so tired. I told him what can be done, what can we do about it. He said we will try our luck to go back in and check if we can bring out the tumor. I was, my hope was not rising, but I came to camp. I cried to the God of Daddy Gio. I wrote letters. My parents wrote letters. Daddy prayed for me. And this year... February 2, I went for my last surgery, which was my third surgery. I went for my surgery and... I went for my surgery and the tumor that was, that was, that was frozen, it was moving. The, the surgeon said, when they opened me up, the tumor that was in my anus was already up, was in my stomach. So it was so easy for them to just bring it out. I want to give glory to the Almighty God that even though I have a permanent colostomy, because the surgery I had, they brought out the tumor with my anus and my rectum, and they sealed up my anus permanently. But I want, I want to thank God that we were 20 that were diagnosed with rectal cancer, and I'm the only survivor. I want to thank God. I want to give glory to the God of that Geo for making me a survivor. Praise the Lord! Which of these testimonies could we have brought to pass by our own power? The only people that should be quiet now and not rejoicing are those who are confident that such miracles can be done by their own hands. But if, it, if not one of them can be done by your own hands, come on, lift up your voices, raise your hands, shout hallelujah to the one who is able to continue to do these wonderful things amongst us. We have seen the goodness of the Lord 
and we will not be quiet let somebody shout hallelujah